selected pattern one. This is ESP266 development board. It has 16 pins and it has a LDR and one RGB LED. Right now it is connected with this sensor. This sensor uh, has three axis gyroscope, one temperature sensor and three axis accelerometer. And here is a circuit connection. This is the sensor data on the left and uh, on the right you can see the sensor and now I am going to move the sensor with respect to its uh, yaw, pitch and roll angle and uh, we'll see what is the fluctuation we are getting on the graph and whether it's generating any pattern or not. So first I am going to roll this. Now on the graph as you can see that green color line is creating a very specific pattern and now I'm going to move this thing like this and now you see this blue color line is creating the pattern. Now here this blue color is a dominant pattern and previously it was the green one and if I do this then this orange curve is creating the pattern. So this is basically for data visualization purpose. So as I mentioned previously, so there are three sensor data which uh, we are generating over here. And uh, also there is a machine learning model which will try to identify the pattern. And here uh, this is the you know display where uh, it will indicate what kind of pattern it has. So as of now, I am just rotating the sensor with respect to uh, roll, pitch and yaw. Uh, direction so it will indicate only three patterns and I mention it as 0, 1, 2, 3. And also using this dashboard you can download uh, the data at any point of time. Once you download the raw data from the data visualization dashboard you need to convert that raw data into a structured data. In order to do that you drop that uh, raw data file under this raw data folder and run this convert.py. Once you run this convert.py, you will get a structured data and uh, th although this structured data doesn't have the label name, so this is a supervised machine learning, so you have to label all this data by yourself and once you're done with the labeling, you will have this file which is kind of a raw data with its uh, class name in a structured way. Once you have this data ready, you need to go back to this uh, Jupyter Notebook file and here uh, I have used the bidirectional LSTM model as it is a perfect fit for the use case. So basically here I am going to do the training. And as you can see on the left, it is started identifying this way of movement as pattern 3. Now I'm going to move like this and it started identifying this moment as pattern 2 and if I just do it like this it will be able to yeah it is finding it is as pattern 1. Okay now I have integrated this system with my voice assist so if I do this moment you have selected pattern 2 and if I do like this so 
So you have selected pattern three. And if I do like this. So you have selected pattern one. And it's working. Mm -hmm.